Welcome! In front of me I have Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the upper button. Keep holding the button until you see the Samsung logo on the screen. Once you see the logo you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. After the watch turns on, you will probably see the list of languages on the screen and you can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Find the language you would like to use on your watch and once you find it, tap on it to select it, then tap on the check mark to confirm and then you will need to select a region. So scroll through the list of regions, find the one you like, tap on it to select it and then tap on restart. Now your watch will reboot basically and after it's done, uh, you, it will be ready to pair with your phone. In the meantime, and the watch is rebooting, let's download and install the Galaxy Wearable application on our phone. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled, then open the Play Store. In the Play Store, tap on search and type in Galaxy Wearable, and then tap on search. And you should see this application on the list, Galaxy Wearable. Tap on it to select it, then tap on the install button to download and install it. Okay, the application is done installing. We can tap on open button to open it and you should see the welcome page. Also, our watch is done rebooting and as you can see, it tells us to download the application and use it to pair the devices together. So let's continue. Tap on start in the app, allow the permission for the location, allow the permission for the nearby devices and keep allowing the permissions until you see this page. And here uh, the app will search for the nearby devices and it should detect your Galaxy Watch Ultra. Once it does, tap on it. Tap on pair. If you see this pop up, tap on OK. The app will redirect you to the Google, Google Play Store again and you need to download the uh, Watch 7 plugin. So tap on uh, install, wait until it's done installing and after it's done installing, you can go back to the Galaxy Wearable application. OK, so let's go back to the app. And after a second or two, it should continue. And here we can log in into a Samsung account. This is useful if you want to use uh, features like Samsung Health and Galaxy Store and stuff like that. I don't want to use any of these, so I'm going to tap on skip. But if you want to uh, use the Samsung Health, save your data and stuff like that, you can log in into a Samsung account. I'm going to tap on skip. Here we need to check the box. You can also check the uh, optional one if you like to. I'm just going to tap on continue, tap on allow. And you see we have more pop-ups about the permissions and we can allow them or deny them. But I believe if you deny them, you won't be able to use the app. It will basically spam you with the permissions until you allow them. But you can try denying them if you want to. I'm just going to allow them uh, for the sake of the video. Next, we have this permission. This is not required. The notification access is not required. But if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, uh, it is required for it to work. So if you want to see the phone notifications on your watch, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. And here we can copy a Google account uh, to our watch. And this is useful for a couple of things. The first thing is basically if you want to use Google Play Store and download applications on your watch. Another thing it is useful for is the other Google services like, like Gmail, uh, Google Maps and stuff like that. So if you want to use any Google services on your watch, you need to copy a Google account to it. And this is the account I have. Uh, I am logged in into on my phone and basically I can select it and copy it to my watch. If you have more than one account, you will see the option to uh, choose another account if you like to. And if you don't want to do it because it's not uh, required, it's it's optional, but uh, if you want to skip it, you can tap on skip button. I want to copy a Google account, so I'm going to select mine, tap next, confirm with the fingerprint, and let's wait.
Now scroll down and tap on I agree. And here we can download uh, some additional applications. Uh, as you can see, the WhatsApp was checked because it is installed on my uh, phone right here, but I'm gonna uncheck it. And you can also open this list of applications and you can find the apps you want to install, check them, and then tap on continue. It's gonna install them in the background. I'm just gonna tap on skip because I don't want to install any additional applications, but if you like to, you can do it. And here we can tap on next. And um, uh, here, the uh, app may be prompting you to download and install the another application. It's called, I believe, Samsung Smart Switch, this one. I already have it installed, that's why it didn't prompt me, but it will basically rede redirect you to the Google Play Store like it did before with the plugin, and it will ask you to install that application. And once you install it, you will see this page. And here, if you want to use the smart switch to transfer your data and backup your data and stuff like that, you will need to allow some permissions and you can do it by tapping allow and allow the permissions when they pop up on the screen. I don't want to use it, so I'm going to tap on deny and keep it denied. And here we can select uh, what the quick button does, the, the one in the middle right here. And you can tap on here and select one of the functions and we have open my exercises, start walking, start running, bike and flashlight and stuff like that. I'm going to select flashlight for example. Then tap next. Right here we can select the preferred wrist and the button's position. And then you can tap on next, next. You can also create workout routines, but for that you will need to log in Samsung account basically. So if you want to tap on create workout routines and follow the instructions, I'm just gonna tap on next, 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 next and wait until the setup is finished. As you can see, we have our watch in the app now. And it says, you are all set. And it should start soon. It's just still uh, turning on. Or rather, booting into a system, like, more likely. So let's wait. We can also go through the tutorial on our, on our watch. I'm just gonna tap on skip, but if you want to see it, tap on start. And finally, we, ha we have the watch face. And uh, of course, the watch is right here on, in the application. And if you open the quick panel, you will see this Bluetooth icon, which means that the watch is connected with a phone. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.